Hello and welcome to the sixth part of my Nations League jersey review and uh, I decided for League C I'm doing it a video per group uh, previously I, uh, for Leagues A and B I grouped two uh, groups always together because they were the smaller groups uh, the group yesterday was only three teams as well but now we have all four teams in the group um, the group C2 of course is where Greece is in there in this honestly one of the most interesting groups just from the um, countries that are in there uh, because as you will see there's in there Hungary, Finland, Greece and Estonia and if you look at the languages spoken in those they are neither a Germanic language nor a Romance language nor a Slavic language is in there and this makes for a really really interesting group from, a, from geography. These are all the three together with Turkish, the three language groups that are kind of floating around in Europe uh, that have a little relation to each other, most of them. Uh, at Greece, Greek has to, I think, taken out of that group. Um, but they are surely not mutually intelligible and they're some of the most difficult languages. And I heard if you're interpreter speaking any two of these languages, you're well paid. I think one of the best paid jobs in the European Union is an interpreter in the parliament is the interpreter from Finnish to Hungarian, Hungarian to Greek or something like that. Might not be the case anymore, but at least this was some time ago. I really like the composition of this group. Uh, suffice to say, have to say this is also a group where I don't have uh, shirts from one team. I didn't find good pictures of Estonia, so we're only looking at three teams. Right now, um, I've seen how the Estonia shirts look like, but I want to get a better look and I will want to do this when we talk about League D. We'll start off with the top team in this group, which is Hungary. Uh, and if you look at this shirt, template, 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 it's the Adidas template with a slight Hungarian touch. It is, of course, the classic red Hungarian home jersey with the nice crewneck collar, and I really like the sleeve cuffs. With white and a little bit green on there so you get slightly the Hungarian flag. Uh, what I also find interesting is you have of course the very interesting Hungarian coat of arms. Look it up on Wikipedia, I really like the crown with the crooked cross uh, which the Hungarian crown always had this uh, crooked cross seemingly a damage from transporting. Um, and, but there's also this kind of the same coat of arms on the other side in a little emblem which is the um, emblem of the Hungarian Federation which is without the crown so you just have the flag and the Hungarian cross on the hill on there and it's only in red and white. Other than that it's the template. Um, it actually, I, Honestly for national teams I actually do like this template much better than for most club teams uh, and here it's really nicely done this shirt I really like this shirt overall the look and feel of it yes maybe if it was plain it would look even better uh, same goes for the away jersey um, it's basically the white version note the green sleeve cuffs and the red um, anywhere else and of course the pattern now is silvery and white which also doesn't look too bad I think Hungary has quite nice jerseys and yeah as an Austria we are part of the we, we are the other part of one of the oldest uh, rivalries between nations I never disliked Hungary to be honest so and I really value their contribution to history it's a little bit sad to see that Hungary is not the strong opponent anymore well not the strong team anymore that they used to be but again, at Euro 2016, I thought everyone we can beat Hungary. Nope, 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 nope. Hungary beat us once more. It's actually the rivalry goes very much in Hungary's favor. Although uh, most people say that Austria at the moment has a stronger team. But yeah, the, that the rivalry is one of those where it's not always that the stronger team wins. And yeah, gotta give it to Hungary. Looking forward to their progress in that group. Then we go to Greece which have seen, uh, Nike jerseys for quite a while, I think since 2012, after Euro 2012, they switched to Nike, which was a little bit disappointing because, I mean, they won the Euros, not exactly this shirt, in the white version of this shirt, but uh, they wore this at Euro 2004 in Adidas, but seemingly Nike got them a bigger deal, and I think by now they would have probably uh, gotten away from uh, Adidas anyway, since Adidas only wants to take the big teams, although Hungary is not a big team 
anymore. And there are a few more Adidas shirts, I think, that we'll see in the next season. The Greece home jersey is actually not a bad looking affair, but a very almost boring. It's the classic Nike template, the current one um, with the Irish, uh, Irish, I'm tired already, the Greek crest on it in blue. I like the blue color. I don't like that it's the fake short color. I like that on the back you have uh, the stripes like for, on the Greek flag. I see it here as well. So there's a little bit of a Greek flag detail, but of course the cross is missing. Maybe that could have been put on there. Um, as I said, it's more boring than exciting. However, that cannot be said for the Greek uh, home jersey. This one, I really love how it looks like. Uh, they take the dark blue base and they make a light blue pattern in there, which should resemble the flag. And it's very nicely done. It's kind of off-centered, like it is on the flag. Uh, not like on the crest here, which you of course see here as well. Um, and it's the cross is centered on the Nike and then you have the stripes. I think this is really nice. Not as nice in my opinion as any of the 2012 Adidas shirts, which I really loved. That's, those are the Greece jerseys that I would like to have, the, one of the 2012 ones. Uh, but this one is also really nice. Um, I like the idea behind it. Also the choice of color with the blue and then the lighter blue. Yes, the Greek flag is blue and white, but there is something about it that I like. Again, like with Marseille, Greece, we have islands, it's a seafaring nation there. I can imagine that there's some sea connotation there, of course, in the back you also have the color. The, uh, the, um, the Greek flag in a way. I really like this one. I sometimes wish that the crest on the Greek jersey was a little bit more exciting than just this uh, rectangle. Um, I don't know why. I think always uh, when a crest has uh, just this rectangular shape, um, there's something not quite connecting with me. But other than that, I think this jersey is as nice as Nike jerseys get this time around. Then the team that actually is now leading this group, as of at the time I'm making this video, is Finland. And they also have Nike jerseys. And this looks similar to the Greece jersey, except look at the sleeves. Very nice sleeve cuffs. Uh, by moving the blue a little bit up, giving it a little bit more character. And also the crest is nothing special, but it's on a shield, which makes it already nicer looking. Uh, with just the Finnish flag and so on, we over. Um, it's just some. It's just a little bit better. It's also that the blue is a little bit darker, uh, which is a lot like the US jersey that I was wearing um, on the video yesterday. I don't like the color as for the Greece home jersey, but uh, between the Greece home jersey and this one, I like this one better. Um, I also see the on the back the taping the uh, blue one has the Finnish flag on there, uh, which is a nice touch. Uh, at least the home jersey, though, uh, yeah, they are Greece beats Finland uh, easily. Not that this is a bad try. I mean, you have the dark blue and then you have the light blue sleeve, so they're using similar colors. I just find the Greek uh, color combination a lot more pleasing. Also, look at the cross on the crest which is kind of this deep royal blue. Then you have the darker blue uh, for the jersey and then the light blue sleeves. There's something not quite connecting. There are too many blues in there. It should be a little bit more um, together in a way. Not Don't make three blue tones, make only two, I would say. Still, this is a really nice shirt, uh, but a little bit more imagination I would have wished here. And yes, as I said, I don't have any nice picture of the Estonia jerseys. I know that Estonia plays at home in kind of dark, uh, dark royal blue uh, shirts with black pants and white socks. Estonian flag, it looks nice and I would imagine white jerseys uh, away from home. But I'm really waiting for the games. Maybe I get some better footage and I will tag them on in November when we talk about League D. League D, I have really some trouble finding some teams, but we'll get let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, um, which ones you like best. Um, I think, again, League C, two, again, three teams with very interesting and actually uh, good-looking jerseys, I have to say. 
Um, gotta give both suppliers credit. Yes, it's templates, 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 but the templates are very nicely executed. And in the case of the Greece away jersey, a really, really nice pattern on there that is very unique. And I would like to see more of these uh, things for Greece and for other nations as well. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I'll see you tomorrow with uh, part 7, we look at group C3. Up until then, bye.